<clears throat> uh, good afternoon uh, from wherever you are watching us from. Um, you are aware that the Patriotic Front is scheduled to host a mass public rally tomorrow at Muchinga Grounds in Zingalume area in Matero constituency. Uh, the acting president has announcements to make is flanked by members of the Central Committee and other senior members of the party. Uh, acting president, probably you can trace the history of why we are here and what we are doing tomorrow. Thank you very much and uh, welcome viewers. We had uh, a review meeting this morning where we're reviewing the processes that we engaged in in preparing ourselves to hold our first public rally ever since August 2021. We received a report from the people who were tasked to organize this rally and they indicated to us the numerous encounters they had with the police over this rally, including the encounter they had with the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, Honorable Jack Jacob Mwimbo. It turns out that the Patriotic Front has done everything according to the law, and they have not missed any step whatsoever. They wrote to the police on the 10th of August, indicating that we were planning to hold a rally on the 26th Public Order Act, which stipulates seven days, but we gave them 16 long days. Thereafter, the police wrote to us, they wrote to Chairman for Lusaka Province, Honorable Shaka Fuswa, who is the host of this meeting, indicating that they had security concerns, and because of that, they didn't want us to hold our rally on the 26th. We immediately engaged them, and at that stage, I decided to step in. And I had meetings with the Deputy Inspector General of the Police, together with colleagues from the Central Committee. In that meeting, surprisingly, they brought us a letter that we hadn't seen, a letter that wasn't sent to us. And this was a letter written by yet another person from Lusaka Division, in which they were giving us what we considered unacceptable reasons why they thought we should not hold our rally. They said, first, that we were supposed to give them a list of marshals before they could sanction our rally. They wanted us to give them a list of marshals. And we thought giving them a list of marshals is a very administrative matter. All they needed to do was to call Shaka Fuswa and say, give us 10 or even 100 marshals. And we could have done that. The second reason was that as far as they were concerned, the launching of a strategic plan need not be at a public rally. It can be done in a hotel and so on. Now, we wondered where and when the police had the authority to determine how citizens will engage on whatever matter when the police were given the authority to tell us, to dictate to us how to launch our document, our strategic plan. We therefore told them in no uncertain terms that we did not accept the three flimsy excuses that they were giving. Nonetheless, being a civil party that we are, we decided that we're going to make a formal appeal and uh, Chairman Shakofuswa was instructed to write a letter to the Minister of Home Affairs and Internal Security, which letter was delivered, and in accordance with the law, we we're expecting that uh, Minister Jacob, Jack Mwembu would respond to our appeal within five days. Seeing that the five days had elapsed and we hadn't received any the host of the meeting, Honorable Shakafuswa, they went and engaged the Minister of Home Affairs. In their meeting, the Minister of Home Affairs conceded that the grounds on which the police were saying we shouldn't proceed were not justifiable. And he said to my colleagues, please go back to the police and go and discuss this matter, and if need be, discuss alternative deaths. My colleagues obliged, and they went and met again the Inspector General of Police, who told them that he was going to write a letter to them in response to our successful appeal with the Minister. Surprisingly, his letter, which was received only yesterday afternoon, was referring to our application, which was made much earlier. And in that letter he was saying, can you please make a fresh application for us to come and consider 
you for any date after September 30th. Now, as a body that is provided for in the constitution of the land, we are duty bound to ensure that we do not allow anyone to establish bad precedents. It is our duty. If we do otherwise, then we'll be allowing the police to create a bad precedence which they will refer to. We don't want them to refer to us as having agreed to follow illegality. We want to make sure that the police and every citizen of Zambia acts within the confines of the law. So in assisting Inspector General of the Police, I want to inform the citizens that my colleagues and I this morning met and we have agreed that because we are in compliance with the law, the rally that we notified the police about 16 days ago is proceeding tomorrow. Yeah. Come, rain, come rain, come thunder. And what we wish to appeal to Inspector General of the Police is for him to make sure that he provides police security to us. We are citizens, taxpayers, and voters of Zambia. And we run an organization that is established by the Constitution. We're not running a Cinderella organization. We're running a political party whose membership might be the largest of all political parties in Zambia. Yeah. It is therefore incumbent upon Inspector General of Police to make sure that he provides us security. Nonetheless, let me also just advise that Christopher Shaka Fusua, Provincial Chairman for Lusaka Province, and the organizing committee are also aware of the fact that we require to have our own marshals. And we have sufficient marshals. We have enough marshals to protect the meeting, to protect the rally. So all of you citizens, I enjoin you. Tomorrow, 26th of August, we have a date with you. And this is a date that has been long awaited, ever since August 2021. We gave ourselves time. We gave you citizens time for all the wounds to heal and for celebrations to come down. Now, in a matter of sobriety, we want to come and engage you citizens. Come and listen to us. And you're coming to listen to alternative policies. You're coming to listen to alternative government programs. You're coming to listen to a group of people who are preparing themselves to take over the reins of power in 2026 for the good governance of this country. I would like to appeal to all our district officials across the Lusaka province, all our constituency officials, our ward officials, come one, come all. Also, I would like to say to you that we are not going to bust anyone because that has never been the habit of the Patriotic Front. We want the revival of the Patriotic Front of Michael Chilufia Sata, where people volunteer themselves. They give themselves because they are into this for national service. I am delighted to report to you, viewers, that as we were having the meeting, we were getting phone calls from all parts of the country. As we speak now, I'm alive of the fact that there are some people who are traveling from the Copper Belt, people traveling from Central Province, mm. people have arrived from Eastern Province, people are coming from Southern Province. People are coming from Northern Province. Chipiri, chairman for Northern Province, is leading a delegation and is already in Lusaka. People are coming from Western Province. Chairman Kufuka Kufuka from Western Province is already in Lusaka and people are coming from Western Province. Yeah. People are coming from all around the country. This is a brand new opportunity for you citizens to listen to those who are concerned about the governance of this country for you to come and listen to people who have experience. We are not coming to this rally for the sake of criticizing anybody. We are coming to this rally for the purpose of, one, launching our strategic plan, the plan that we are going to follow between now and 2026. Number two, we are coming to give Zambia new hope because under the circumstances, a lot of Zambians are losing hope and they are thinking, is this what we can end up with? We want to show the Zambian people that not all is lost. There are people, there are men and women who are completely prepared and ready to provide 
leadership to this country. So I join you, dear citizens, come tomorrow. And I also want to reiterate my request to Inspector General of Police. We're doing this for you. We're doing this for Zambia. Doing otherwise will make it difficult for you in future because then your juniors will say, we denied them, we can deny the others too. We're making it easy for you so that in the future you can say to them, if you come up with flimsy excuses, law-abiding citizens will not accept. So we're helping you, Inspector General. Help us tomorrow by sending sufficient police officers to come and give us security. To you, my colleagues, prepare yourselves tomorrow. Let us speak to peace-loving Zambians. Thank you very much. Join us tomorrow. Make a date. Well done, Mr. President. I think uh, the rally is on tomorrow as announced by the party leadership attended by the caucus of the Central Committee. The rally is on tomorrow for the media. See you. The times are as follows. For the media, they should be there by 10 hours. The rally begins at 11 hours. So see you tomorrow at Muchinga Grounds in Zingarume area in Matero constituents. Thank you very much. Thank you.